Old Bunyard's Philosophic Fables Number 71 The Snub-Nosed Tapir There once was a tapir, a genial sort, as charming as any you'd find, who'd only one flaw, his proboscis was short, much shorter than most of his kind. A nice enough fellow, a herdmate averred one night when the moon was about. But tell me, has anyone here seen or heard of any more pitiful snout? That's true, smiled another. It's truly bizarre. Quite how does he manage to smell? You're right, laughed a third. Does he sense where fruits are, or does he just guess rather well? It's really not funny, a fourth disagreed. Malingerers should be decried. That's it, the fifth blustered. Just how does he feed? Perhaps he has something to hide. The sixth added loudly, I've always believed he's one of a dubious stripe. There's no doubt about it, the next cried agreed. A typical criminal type. We mustn't dare trust him, the last roared with vim. He's plainly a dangerous cuss. I say we had better do something to him before he does something to us. But fortune decreed there'd be nothing to fear. The tapir was not set upon. Though lacking in nose, he'd a very good ear. And when they came running, he'd gone. What puzzling conceits are humanity's sign. When people detect one thing's wrong, they'll bring all their other perceptions in line until all looks bad before long.